I spent over 200 hours developing and publishing a Unity course. And here's how it went. Hello everyone, Fulvin here. So for the past six months, I've been working on my own Unity course. And after spending hundreds of hours planning, developing, editing, and perfecting, I'm extremely excited to announce that I've published the most comprehensive and beginner-friendly Unity game development course out there. Now, you might be wondering, Philvin, what inspired you to create a Unity course? Well, I've been posting Unity content on this channel for a while now, and I've also developed and published my own mobile and web games using Unity. But before all of that, I started learning Unity back in 9th grade. Grade. I was 15 years old and I had some experience with Scratch, but I wanted to transition to Unity game development. However, I pretty much had zero text-based programming knowledge. Nonetheless, I had big dreams of writing real code and developing, publishing, and selling games for everyone to play. But as I searched for Unity tutorial videos and courses online, I realized that all of them were the same. Some middle-aged person typing code on their screen without any explanation, with many of the resulting games being either way too complicated or unfun to play. Even the tutorials marked for beginners targeted people who were older and knew at least some programming, so they didn't explain fundamental coding concepts. So as a 15-year-old who wasn't in any of their target audiences, past me found that Unity courses online were too complicated or simply looked uninteresting. It was definitely a frustrating experience back then. Fast forward a couple years to now, and I have created a course that solves the problem 15-year-old me had. I've made a course specifically designed for kids and teens that teaches the fundamentals of Unity game development and c -sharp in a fun and engaging way without requiring prior knowledge of coding or game development. And throughout the course, you can see that I keep my promise. The first game I teach you how to make is a simple yet addicting cookie clicker game with just three scripts. The second game is a fun, minimalistic, physics-based platformer. And the third and final game is a professional-looking, endless shooter game that could pass off as a mobile app or web game. I began with the basics of showing you how to navigate the Unity editor and explaining what a script is. Then, as I guide you through creating our games, I go step by step and break down fundamental coding concepts through visually engaging examples and easy to understand comparisons between scratch blocks and C -sharp code. And in the end, you'll not only learn the fundamentals of Unity Game Engine and C -sharp coding, but you'll also gain valuable skills in problem solving, UI design, and game design. And you'll learn how to publish your games online for anyone to play or even purchase. So if you want to buy the course, check out my website, fuelvinacademy.com after this video. Link is in the description below. But enough pitching, and now I'm going to share with you my experience making this course. Creating a comprehensive Unity course from nothing was definitely not an easy feat. I probably spent close to a dozen hours just brainstorming ideas about what I wanted to teach with Unity Game Engine. So I started by breaking down the topics I wanted to cover and determine the best way to teach each concept. And I wanted anyone to be able to follow my course, even those without prior knowledge of programming or game development. So throughout the entire planning, I kept in mind the assumption that my students would have no past experience with any coding. I had quite a few conflicting opinions as to what games I wanted to create in the course. In the beginning, I was quite split on choosing either a clicker game or Pong as the first game. But in the end, I stuck with a clicker game because I didn't want the first game in my course to be physics-based. But I still wanted to introduce the Unity physics system. So what better game was there to make than a classic platformer as the second project? I wanted my third game to be a showcase game that was fun and original. And I also wanted it to build off from the first two games. So I ended up designing an endless shooter game and called it Spud Shooter The Ultimate. You don't have to stick with that name when you create it yourself, by the way. But after planning out my course, it was time to create the course content. This was quite time consuming and took a few dozen hours as I created the three games that I would be teaching how to make. It required a lot of attention to detail, and I spent hours just making sure that my code and Unity project was as neat and as understandable as possible. The third game took the longest time to make by far, not only because it was the most complicated game out of the three, but also because I hand drew all of the characters and sprites myself, which I provided as an art resource in the course. Once I was done with the course content, now it was time for recording and editing. These two steps definitely took up the majority of my time. I spent several days recording using my template games that I made as a reference and essentially remade those games while talking through my thought process. I also spent time creating visual diagrams that I used to help with my explanations during the recordings. I ended up with over 25 hours of raw recordings and now it was time for the least fun part of this process, which was editing. I plugged all my footage into 
a video editor and spent the next several weeks chugging through all the recordings. I didn't want to pay someone else to edit the recordings for me because I wanted to make sure the course videos were as clear as possible and I didn't want to risk anything being excluded or unclear. And hey, sometimes you don't truly appreciate something until you've been through it yourself. So big respect to people who edit videos as a career. But once I finished editing, my months of hard work was finally coming to a close and I was ready to launch the course. I created promotional video content, including this one, and also developed my own website to promote my course. And after publishing my course on various platforms, everything was good to go. And here I am. This is the result of me spending over 200 hours across six months on my Unity course. This is definitely one of the largest projects I've ever done, and one of the most challenging ones as well. There were times when I felt overwhelmed by the amount of work I had to do, and there were moments when I had self-doubts. But I thought back to my 15 year old self and knew that this was something past me would appreciate from the bottom of his heart. So I persevered and got to publishing this course, and I'm glad I did. So yeah, if you want to learn how to make some awesome games with Unity Game Engine and C Sharp, but have no prior coding experience, then this is the course for you, and you'll not regret taking it. I invite you to check out my course at fieldofanacademy.com, link is in the description below. Anyways, that's it for this video, and as always, see ya!